Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm going to be reading from the book of 1 John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 5. This, then, is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But... If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. This is the part I really love. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all from all unrighteousness. I love that passage because it says that even though all of us have committed sins against God, we're not supposed to, we know we're not, we get under conviction about it, we sometimes carry uh, the burden of guilt and shame with us. Oftentimes I find people carrying burdens of guilt and shame that they've already confessed those sins or Sometimes they're carrying shame for something that someone said about them, but they never did anything wrong. You probably know somebody like that. I just want to say, God doesn't want you or me to be going around with a load of guilt and shame in our life. Jesus Christ came, and in spite of the fact that we're all sinners, he took our sin upon himself, one who's never committed sin, died upon the cross, was buried, rose again, and he is offering to you and to me forgiveness of all of our sin if we'll just admit it and ask him confess it make and off, offer ourselves to him he will forgive us and cleanse us of not some but all of our unrighteousness that is completely undeserved by us but it is real it's for sure sometimes we struggle with guilt as I said, you may have known somebody that's been carrying a burden of guilt or shame around in their life. And I want to say, God does not want you or me to be burdened by guilt or shame in our life. He doesn't want us to keep reminding ourselves and even others of every single thing that we've ever done or should have done that we didn't do. Um, he wants us to find forgiveness, get up, and move on. He wants us to go forward with our life, to be make, make our life fruitful, productive, useful uh, and so I want to say to you if you or someone that you know of is having a problem with guilt or shame even self-destructive behavior um, they don't you don't have to they don't have to we don't have to live like that God has a solution the solution is confess your sin God is faithful to forgive us our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness that's the gift that Jesus offers to you and to me as part of becoming his child, a believer in him, is to be set free. I want you to be free. If you want to be set free, then give your sins over to Jesus. If you've already done that, accept his forgiveness. It's real. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.